it's been over a decade of bloodletting, abductions, and a general state of insecurity in Nigeria's northeast region. And just as Nigerians wondered when all these things will stop, a ray of light in the dark, as the federal government and the Boko Haram group reaches a ceasefire agreement. Little did Nigerians know the negotiations were ongoing for over a month, involving the federal government, Chadian government officials, and the Boko Haram sect. The result? Nigeria's chief of defense staff comes up with this heartwarming piece of information. Without any prejudice to the outcome of our three days interaction and the conclusion of this forum, I wish to inform this audience that a ceasefire agreement has been concluded between the federal government of Nigeria and al sunnah lidawa wal jihad I have accordingly directed the service chiefs to ensure immediate compliance with this development in the field. To ensure that it is complied with immediately. And the military's high command is not dilly-dallying on the implementation of the ceasefire deal. An instruction is given to all the service chiefs to ensure the agreement is implemented. The Chief of Defense Staff has given directive to all the service chiefs to ensure that it is complied with immediately on the field and that information or directive has gone to the troops in the field. And then it gets better. At yet another session, the coordinator of the National Information Center tells Nigerians that the missing Chibok girls will soon return to the warm embrace of their parents. The center can confirm to you that there have been contacts between the government of Nigeria and the representatives of Boko Haram. The discussions are essentially, are essentially in relation to the general insecurity in the Northeast and also the need to rescue all captives of the terrorists including students of women girls' primary school, Chibok. For some, this development is treated with cautious optimism. For others, it is definitely a light at the end of the tunnel, as they expect the gunshots to halt and the missing girls back to where they belong with their parents and in school.